Let's transform this account with some sweet 3v3 teams and a new opener. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? Now, I did maybe mislead you just a little bit on the thumbnail because we're doing a 3v3 takeover on my account. And this is a thing that I've been preparing for and waiting for since we really started pushing for Arbiter on this account. I think as soon as you get Arbiter, you can really start setting up some real actual 3v3 teams and make good progress in 3v3 right away. Now, what we're going to do today, I just finished some champion training for her, so we are going to level her right up, okay? And that is a really important thing for your account. Don't let your Arbiter sit around. She's amazing, and you should take advantage of that, okay? Um, I don't really recommend uh, brewing, but, I mean, I don't recommend, what is it, pots? Like, like doing... Combining pots? What do you even call that? Mixing? I don't. I don't even know. Anyway, um, I'm also. I'm gonna use some brews here, and we're gonna take her up to level 49, um, and then I will level the rest of her in probably to get her masteries. Okay. I think that during CVC, we'll use these legendary books on her. Obviously, that's amazing, and I don't really have anybody else to book. I really actually know I do want to book Trunda, but I think Arbiter is going to be more important. Either way, so let's take a look. How do you build your first Arbiter? That's question number one. Okay. Well, you're going to find the banner with the most speed. Doesn't matter what it is. And I only have one, and that's this one. So, Apothecary, we're stealing your banner. Okay. And we're going to suffer through whatever's going on with my computer or my raid account i don't know but something is going on and so if you know what that something is let me know some people have tried to help me i've tried to do things but it's not going well and uh <laughs> i need to figure it out all right now whenever you're going to go gear your arbiter what you're going to do is you are not going to care about the rank or rarity. You're going to go speed and equipped, and you are going to look through all of your speed pieces to find the ones with the most speed. And whatever speed that is, that's what you're going to put on there, okay? Just whatever the fastest gear is, okay? So you can see I have a helmet, 13 and 2, 12 and 3. I don't need to switch that, right? That's the same amount of speed. But if it was more, then I would put it on her. The only exception are the gloves and the chest. If it's close and you can get HP percent or defense percent on the gloves and chest, like this one we do, um, it's not like the best. We only have a single roll here, but this is actually my best chest. But on the gloves, these are attack percentage. And I will level them up to 16 because these are going to be used on my account for ever probably um but right here and right now these are my fastest gloves my only other gloves that i have are crit damage gloves with speed so i would take attack percentage over that as it's more reliable okay so whatever your fastest gear is you put on your arbiter you want to make sure you have speed boots with speed and if possible have a speed um ascension at, on there as well. I don't have any speed boots that are ascended. Okay, that's flat HP. Uh, I don't have any speed with speed. I don't have any with the ascension of speed, so I can't do that, right? Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take all uh, glyphs and you're going to glyph your Sill of the Drake speed, okay? So I have already done that. We're not going to sit through that. Um, the only difference is this one needs a glyph. So we can do that. Put a little four-star glyph on here. Okay, two is fine. And then we'll put some glyphs on the other pieces as well. Um, you know, you want your Arbiter to be as well-built as possible. She is going to be clutch for your account forever. So your Arbiter is super important. 
and I've already got mine up to almost 300 speed, and that is without any masteries. So that's pretty impressive for, what am I, level 64? Yes, okay? And I know that with that speed, I'm going to outspeed a, a lot of people, okay? I'm going to outspeed a lot of people. All right, so let's jump into the 3v3 section, and I want to talk to you about how to set up your 3v3 teams and how I'm going to do that here as well. I'm already in Bronze 2, which is a great start. All right, so if we take a look at my... Actually, let's go on the roster screen. If we take a look at my roster here, what are the teams that you would set up on your account? Okay, also... Is there somebody in the vault who you think is really, really good? I know that Godseeker is probably going to be my next investment, um, but I really do also want to level up some High Elves. Um, so like Tyrell and Scramus, I, they're really good. But in addition to that, I really need to level up Barbarians. <laughs> Um, I really need to level up Barbarians because of the mission that I'm on. So I think that probably right here, right here. One, two, who's my other ones? Three and four. I think I have two Revivers on there right now. But I want to consider um all of my options for barbarians it's definitely not this woad painted i don't need two woad painted and i don't think it's either of the rares but i do have a war maiden out there as well okay so i don't think any of those are going to change who our teams are right i don't think any of these 40s are going to do anything and not that i have the means to level them up right now anyway so really all the only people who I would consider for these teams are level five or six, right? 60, 50. I don't think I would put any 40s on the team is what I'm saying. So for me, when I am thinking about these teams, I know that Arbiter is going to be the leader for one of my teams, okay? And probably Deacon's going to be on the same team with her. However, for 3v3, I could split those up. The problem is that I need a champion to bridge the gap with my speed team so that nobody cuts in. I'm also going to need a decreased defense champion, and so I think that I'm going to pair those two together, right? Now, the other option I have as a speed lead is going to be Genbo, so that's an option, right? And then finally, I know that I'm going to have a team with my Pytheon on it because he is my most tanky champion. He's my most survivable. I think we can easily build a go second team that is reasonably survivable. You know, I don't know if we'll be able to beat Saris Kandrafon, but we would be able to beat, you know, a lot of things, right? So... Typically, I would be putting my Trunda on this team as well because she is going to be much, much better with increased attack. Uh, we'll have decreased defense from Deacon. I don't know if I re-geared Deacon, but since he's not in my clan boss team anymore, we can build him with much higher accuracy. We'll look to, at that here in a second. I know that Magnar should go on the Pytheon team. Magnar should go on the Pytheon team. Now, I think that my Apothecary is faster than my Lady Kimmy, but I would want Lady Kimmy in general over Apothecary, obviously, to go on this team with Genbo, okay? Now, who else can I put in here that's going to actually help, right? I do have Rhonda, right? Rhonda's good. She should go on one of these teams. I do have Rio. Rio's good. I'm pretty sure I'm putting Rio on the Pytheon team. I think I will put Scylla the Drakes when I get her on here, but, you know, that's down the road two months from now, so that's hard to say. And then I would definitely be using some of these other six stars, 
Okay, so let's see. Let's think about who I could put in here. Okay, I I think Rhonda could go in here. But I don't know if we really need her in there, um, but she could go in there. I think we could put a secondary damage dealer in there as a potential, you know, helpfulness. I would love to put a control champion in there. I don't really have a control champion. Um, so that's tough. I could put someone in to sort of protect the team. Or I could put maybe another, like, I guess she's like a little bit of a damage dealer. So that's an option. I'm not sure who I want in that spot, if I'm just being 100% honest. I don't know. And I did work on some teams earlier, so I have those saved as well. So we'll see what I come up with now versus what I had earlier. I think one of the things that could be good here is the two lizards. Although we could put this lizard here as well to go with the Pythion team. We would get shields and heal. This, this, that would be a very tanky team. I, I know that earlier I had these two paired together, but I think that could be really strong. And then in this team here, we could put Rhonda in there as an additional damage dealer. And then in the first team, we could put maybe either Drekstar, but he's slow. We could put another speed champion, just so that we... I don't think we need the speed, though. So we could put Morag in there. And that might actually be better than the teams that I came up with before. So let's see what I was working on earlier, before I had all these champions leveled up, okay? Well, number one, I have the All Magic Squad down here, okay? So I'm going to label that Single Affinity, and that way I won't delete it. Okay, and then I'm going to have three other teams up here. I actually think that I want four teams. Because I think that this team is going to be my best normal arena team. But I don't really want that in there right now. So let's go ahead and put the Morag in. I liked that idea. Let's try that. Oh, you can see down here I have Delaja in there. But we're going to go ahead and make this swap. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Oh, Okay, and now we're ready to... This previously has been my main arena team. So we're finally ready to actually make some changes here. We're going to put Pythion first for that resistance. I don't know how much that's going to be helpful. And we're going to try Delaja in that team. I like that quite a bit. There's a lot of healing and shields. Magnar can do a lot of the damage himself. Rio can help. I like that. If I had Ceres, she would go in there for sure. If I had any other buff strip champion, they would go in there for sure. But I don't think that I do. So I don't think that we're going to do that. Um, and then, what what was the last champion here? Oh my goodness. The last champion here... Oh, is the Ronda. Oh, it's the Ronda. So in this team, then we're going to put Ronda in there. Okay, perfect. So then what you want to do is you want to double check that the teams that you set up are the ones that you actually put in there. This is right. This is right. This is right. Great. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to set up your AI. Okay. For Delaja, I think we want to shield and heal first. And that's going to add more buffs with Pytheon as well. Magnar's going to prioritize his A2. Rio and Pytheon, they're good. Um, Arbiter, she's going to do her normal thing. You, you don't need to worry about the Arbiter, okay? Um, for Deacon, his AI is weird sometimes, so I like to make him do this. And then for Morag, I think that we want her to team up first. It's possible we want the strength in, and then Trunda's pretty smart a lot of times with her AI, so it's fine. Uh, Rhonda, I think that we want to prioritize her passive. 
Venomage, we want to prioritize her AoE. Lady Kimmy is tough, okay? I think that we want the A3 first, but you Lady Kimmy lovers let me know how you like your AI. And then obviously we want A3, A2 here for Genbo. Sometimes he loves his A1. <laughs> He's trying to steal all the buffs, so make sure you do that, all right? Now we want to talk about what teams to fight against what teams. I don't think I can beat these teams, so I'm not going to do that. The teams that I want to target here are below 400,000 power, okay? These are all people who've been playing a lot longer than me. Level 86, level 70. I mean, maybe this is doable here. Maybe this is doable here. So we would put um, our teams back in here. <laughs> and then we would put our... Arbiter team first against their super tank squad. We would put our super tank squad against theirs. And then we would put our fake speed team against their fake speed team. Now, before I do that, I really want to check and see what gear is on Lady Kimmy. Because she's pretty dang slow. So I think that for now, I'm going to have to put a random banner on Apothecary. Probably this one. That makes the most sense. And I think I'm going to have to use Apothecary until I can actually... Oh, hey, that was, a, that was a nice roll. I think I'm going to actually have to use Apothecary instead of Lady Kimmy for now. But the goal will be to put Lady Kimmy there because, obviously, she's a lot better than Apothecary. You're not going to hear me try to convince you on that. But, uh, so right here and then I'm, I'm gonna have to redo the ai one second all right so now we're good to go but otherwise i would use lady kimmy there and obviously she does need to be leveled up to be useful and that is something that we will do just not yet okay <laughs> we're gonna get there i promise all right so speed team against the tanky team tanky team against their speed team and our fake speed team against their fake speed team all right, let's try it. Let's try it and see how good our teams actually are. And our teams don't need to be that good to get to bronze three or bronze four. Okay, they really don't. You just need to be good at picking the right fights. Okay, great. So we hit their Pytheon. And then we get the rest of the team. That's awesome. Okay, perfect. Now we got the slow run arbiter. It's classic. We're definitely not going first here, but they couldn't kill us with the R uh their Ronda. Okay, I'm not sure why Rio. Oh boy. That was pretty close. Alright, now we got the shields. Um, do we want to stun somebody here or heal them? I'm pretty sure we just want to heal here because, yeah, because they're not going to be able to kill us. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. And now the, oh, geez. Okay, okay, okay. We're still alive. We got a counterattack there, which is great. Let's heal up here. Let's decrease attack. I thought about, instead of Delaja, um, having another damage dealer there, but I'm surprised Magnar died. I think Magnar just died because they have two damage dealers. So, that are blue. Let's kill the Arbiter. Okay, great. And you can see that Rio, it, she's pretty tanky, right? And I will only be able to build her more tanky. So, this is good, this is good. Let's go here. No poisons, that's all right. And later on, you know, we we will need a bit more protection here, like a bolster set or another protective champion. But for where we're at right now, this is fine. And then we, we didn't even need Magnar here. We didn't even need Magnar. But once we're facing some real, like, higher level teams with good built damage dealers, then this strategy is not going to work. But for now, we're good to go, okay? So you got to work with what you have. And again, if if it wasn't blue damage dealers there, Magnar would be fine. 
Alright, so they went first. And then locked us out. So we're in trouble here. We are in trouble here. Yes. Okay, but we got two out of three wins. So I'm going to take that as a win. Right? I'm going to take that as a win. Alright, let me refresh and see if there's teams that are more on our level. Okay, so this one here, level 66, 400,000 power, that seems reasonable. 73, 482, 80, 462. Ah, baby Thor. Okay, baby Thor. I think this is a great matchup for us, okay? So, I would say, what's their best team going to be? I would say we probably want our Magnar to go against their ultimate Death Knight. But Ceres is going to strip the buffs. Maybe that's their toughest team, so I'm going to do that. Um, we're definitely going to be faster than them here. And then we're going to be more survivable than them here. And I think we'll be able to kill their Pythion. But... Let's go ahead and put in a different damage dealer here. Let's put in... Let's put you in here. Maybe I should take Rhonda and put her over here for this fight. I don't hate that. Hmm. I don't know. We're going to try this. We're going to try this, and I messed up the AI, because I manually put in a person in there. And then, so what I will do, and, and then after this, we'll wrap up the fights here. I'll just take it off auto. All right, so perfect. We go first. We put some debuffs on them. You know what? I should have put decreased... Oh, no, we're good. I was going to say I should have put uh, decreased attack on their Genbo, but he's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, Ultimate Death Knight, shut down your passive. Uh, kill you. Hit auto. Get dead. Alright. And obviously Venomage, not the best choice here. It's just the person who I have leveled up, right? Alright, so... I'm pretty sure we can auto this. Okay. Let's see, Morag's gonna do the strengthen, right? Which is just gonna add a little bit of damage. And then Trunda's gonna kill them. Very slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> All right. I love the block debuffs here. Obviously blocking all of the things that they're trying to do. And then Magnar to shut them down. Okay, perfect. Let's... Do that. Um, yeah, I would love to stun here, but we can't get through. That's why we need the buff strip. I guess we're just going to put some damage on Pythion. Uh, continue. Yep, revive. That's fine. Yep. Now, let's go ahead and stun him back up. Maybe kill him. Not quite. Put some more damage on Pythion. We're going to try to Magnar kill the Pythion. Perfect. Then we need to get the Sill dead. And we can that and then we can hit auto and that's the type of teams that we need to target we need to be smart about who our opponents are and we can make some progress the majority of the opponents we're going to hit are the one-man defenses okay and you should set one-man defenses for yourself as well unless you're trying to progress up all right and then don't forget to actually our battle log is actually pretty nice we got, we got some wins in here. All right, let's go. Um, so what we can do is... Um, oh, I put Inquisitor Shamale in there. <laughs> uh, and then... I like this team here. It's fine. But that well, some one of this teams should have Arbiter in here. So I'm going to go 
fix up and, and mess with my arena defense here. And then you should also go do the same thing. Let me know what you think. I kind of had my head blocking different parts of the screen. I don't know how you feel about that. If you didn't like it, tell me about it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.